Hey everybody, Keith Best here once again. And in this video, this is a slightly different one, um, which I'm going to show you how you can utilize now Magic Page plugin to create Amazon affiliate sites very, very quickly. Okay. So, first off, you need to be able to scrape the data. Now, I've scraped the data. I used, um, or oh, I forget. Getting who I use now. Uh, well, I'll, I'll find the link and I'll put it below the video. I just use the hundred, the free one for a hundred. You have to pay them to do it. Um, but basically, you can scrape like quite a bit of data for very little. But you get the data and it comes into you put it into this format. I've shown you how to do this before on a previous video, where you put it into the format. Let's just zoom in a bit so you can see. And this is just so that it's actually in a format that Magic Page can use. Okay, so basically you change the location name to be the name of the thing. Now for this one, I've split these into backpacks, bum bags, and rucksacks. So what I've done is I've changed the latitude of them. So that like, so that one's 200 point, that one's 100 point, and that one's 10 point. That's just so that when I go in and I do my radius, I'm not going to overlap them. Okay, because obviously if you've got radiuses, they're going to overlap, which I don't want. I want these to be separated so I can pick them out. Obviously, you could do them separately, but it's a lot better doing it this way. All the rest is just like your product description. Now, when you scrape it from Amazon, the product description comes back crap. Um, purely and simply because... I'm sure the people who write the product descriptions on Amazon are five-year-olds because uh, they always like sort of come back and read absolutely rubbish. Like sort of that. Like oh, that's in there for. So what you're going to have to do is obviously once your site starts ranking, you can then just basically go in and change the content. There's another one that's got crap in. like this, but you don't need to do it until you can put like sort of a site up with a number of these pages on. And then basically, you know, when you see which ones are ranking, you can go in and you can change them and make them better. Or even like sort of before the rank, because sometimes they might not rank because you might have like, like that one, that one ain't going to rank for toffee. Because it's like got nothing in as far as the description is concerned. So if you wanted to sell that because you got a decent, it was a decent price. I mean, it's only seventeen quid, so or seventeen dollars. So maybe he's not bothered with it. But say you were selling something which was a telly, which was like sort of you know a couple of hundred dollars or something like that, and you were thinking, you know, like this one down here, it's ninety-one dollars. You're going to get a bit more off it, so you might put more effort into them. You know. The $20 ones, the $10 ones, you're just not going to be worried about. But the bigger ones, you're going to go in and you're going to make that content worth it. Okay, and you're going to make that content then be good. And obviously, this content pulls in like sort of two images. Um, you've then got like your URL, your ref URL. And basically, I've got this set up. And again, it's all shown in the other video how it creates the tag and everything like that for you. So you've got the links. And that's basically it. Now on this site, all I've done is I've created a magic page, nothing fancy. Obviously, you know, like I say, you would go through and you would spend some time making a nice site or you create one like this to start off with. And then over time, you can basically build the site out into something better. So that's the magic page. And then I've also got uh, pages. I've created a page for each of the different uh, elements I'm going to go for. You know, the rucksacks, the bum bags, and the backpacks. And I've created a home page. Again, the basically nothing fancy, but similar to the actual directory structure, really. It's just for you guys to get an idea of what's going on. And I've got like, bits here and obviously you put more blurb down the bottom you can do whatever you want with it to get to get this site to rank 
Okay, but these are just like sort of demo sites, so I haven't spent hours doing them. Probably about half an hour at the most. So, how do we do it? Well, first off, we obviously we need to scrape the data, put the data in that format, and then we go to the magic page settings. And once we're in magic page settings, we go to the import and export. And as you can see, I've got no, in fact, I'll show you, there's no locations or nothing installed. I haven't got any locations installed. So you go to settings, import and export. And then we need to import our database, give it a name. So this is going to be Amazon demo data. Okay. Hit continue. And now we need to import that data. Where's me file manager? And we need to go to that one and drop it across. And we need to process the database. So once that's done, we'll have all of the locations done. Okay, that's done. So if we now go to magic page locations, We've now got all these 92 items. And I just got a little case A. Just tidy that up. Yep. So you've got to just, like I say, you're going to have to go through and tidy stuff up <coughs> because, like I say, the descriptions are pretty naff. So now we go to Magic Page. Now we go into Edit. And we come down to here and we want to hit on this exports posts and pages again. As I showed on the video yesterday, uh, we've got loads of like all these new fields come in. Amazon ID, brand, image, and all the rest of it. And we've got more options within the city short code by same type, current type. All this will be getting shown in full training. And obviously once like Magic Page plugin is live, I'll be doing lots of training on doing like this sort of site. Um, so we've got that. So we've got export posts and pages. I'll start with backpack. Seems it's already in. So you're going to do backpacks. All you would do if you want another one is just type it in and you get your different one, what you want. But I'm going to just start with backpacks. Export the pages. Location is the actual name, as we saw by the spreadsheet. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. Not going to do anything with URLs. And now I need to find, what am I doing? Backpacks. So now I need to find a backpack location. So where's my backpacks? Backpack. No, there's not many of them. Uh, let's have a Kung. So let's have a look. So let's have in here, it's Q-O-U-N-G-A. A Kunga backpack. Um, let's go for 20 miles should be enough, I think. Nine, is that all it was? I think it wasn't that many more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, yeah. I'll do it nicely. So you've got nine of them. Again, I'll show you all these like sort of later. Save the sentence. Let's export. Is that quick? It didn't even get a chance to draw the uh, screen. Yeah, draw the bar. So there you go. So that's what your backpack looks like. Like I said, look at the state of that. That needs sorting out. But again, down here, you've got all of the actual uh, backpacks related to it. And of course, there, if I click on that, I've got so it opens up in a new window and it goes straight to there. So now I will be cooking in. And if I buy anything off Amazon, I get paid. This is well cool. Obviously, there's other places where you can go to use this type of affiliate marketing as well, because Amazon you don't exactly get a lot of. But it's always a good one to start with, because once you get traffic, then you can decide, well, I want to go and like, you know, I'm going to go and take Zoom make and see if they want uh, anything else. 
Okay, that was a. That was a Zoom hack. So now we want to do bum bags. So we pick on bum bags and we come down, leave everything the same. And where's my bum bags? That's fish. All right, so we'll go for max top because that's the top one. Yeah, and how many of them have I got? What we on 11. So it's about 35. Well, that's a max top. So it's that one. I'll be try 20 mile again. We should get 35. Well, maybe not. Let's try 50 mile. Yeah. <laughs> if you're just outside, 60 mile. There we go, 35. Okay, so we've got them 60 miles. So if we just come down and do export. This time it's had time to actually draw the bar out. So if we just pick on this one and see what that one does. So it's an Air ZX. Same thing, got the product description, got your checkout on Amazon and got all your other bum bags, which are related. And so now if we go and do rucksacks, no, we've done rucksacks, which one have we done? Backpacks, bum bags. So yeah, we haven't done rucksacks. So do rucksacks. So everything stays the same. Just get rid of max top. Let's have a look at the rucksacks. Start there. So it's 47. So Osprey. Now to 93. That's about 44. Okay, so I'll say Osprey. We go with Osprey. Uh, we go with the travel one. And we go to 50 mile again. That's not right. We're at 60 mile. More than 24, 70 mile. Yeah, I must have well spread them out. All right, that'll do 43. So we've got 43 of them and 40 of the others. So if we do an export now, Okay, so we have a look at one of these. So we've now got Mountain Top. Check out on Amazon, which goes with my affiliate link. And obviously we've got these. So like I said, that's all your magic pages. But now if we go to the home page, it still doesn't show anything. But what we can do is close that and go to pages or pages. And what you'll find is we've now got 92 pages, whereas before we only had four, and these are all the pages. We've got the main pages, then we've got rucksacks, bum bags, and backpacks. So now if I go to the home page and do an edit. So I've got rucksacks in. So basically on the home page, I've said I want to have rucksacks as my main group. We can change that, but I'll show it because I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And what was the rucksack? That was Osprey, wasn't it? Let's pick a different one to Osprey. We've already had Osprey. So Lou Walker. I have that one, so that's in rucksacks. 
So now all I do is I update that. So now, well, find me page. Yeah, this is the home page. So now what we've got is the Luwoko Hike and Backpack is our preferred brand at the moment. Now say we want to have a, another box down here. As you can see, we've got rucksacks. These will all go to rucksacks. So if I open that one again, that's in the rucksack brand. And it's there. And these are all like sort of rucksacks. I know some of them have like backpack in the name, but they are under, I have got them under the rucksack actual thing. And obviously go back to home. But again, we need to go into bum bags now and the other two. So if we edit bum bags, And we create that one as give another one. M O S I S O. M O S I S. There we go. Update that. Go back. Big backpacks. Uh, what was many backpacks was there? Oh, I think I'll do trespass. I think that one went. Update that. And then go back, go back and do rucksacks. Take another rucksack, Greenfield or Zip Zap. ZIP, ZAP. There you go, and update. So now we've got, obviously this is our home page, but then we go into bum bags and we've got the brand Masaiso and all the bum bags related. And then we've got rucksacks, which is zip zap zoom and all the related. And then we've got backpacks. And then we've got trespass and all of them related. And like I say, obviously you can do what you want with these. You can expand them. You can put other stuff in. So, but you've got, you don't need to have this many links. You can just have one or two. You can have five. You can do whatever you want with it. It's entirely up to you, but they are all optimized perfectly for siloing because all of these are backpacks all of these are rucksacks and then of course the other thing what you can do is you can create posts which will then have content on which will link to these as well so you can create underlying posts underneath which you can spread out to all your different places which are basically going to be passing juice back to these links. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that. Catch you on the next video. Bye. Well, we're